March 14th. Enough is enough! Schools across the country participated in a 17-minute long walkout to honor the victims of the recent Parkland shooting and in many cases, push for law reform. Here at GBN, the road to a walkout was a rocky one. Once the national movement began taking shape, we had many GBN student leaders step forward. It was a really big challenge at first because I feel like the Glenbrook North community hasn't really done a lot of things similar to this. The district's initial email to the community about the walkout caused a bit of a stir, with the information about how student absences would be handled Differing from what was previously told to student leaders, many community members were angered and confused. On the Friday before the march, I got an email from the school district saying that students would be penalized for participating in the march. And I thought that was really unfair because I thought this was just a really great opportunity for students to, to learn. Students at GBN were largely divided on this event. While some wholeheartedly supported it, the GBN community was able to do something and was able to come together and do something that was ultimately like something that was really good in terms of you know memorial service for those who unfortunately passed away. Others had hesitations. I just I, I kind of knew that it would become more of a political talk than a memorial and that's just not something I was comfortable with being a part of. Despite all obstacles, the event that took place ultimately involved over 500 students and will not be something soon forgotten by students at GBN. That's what made it so amazing on the day of when 500 people stood up from their desks and joined us. That's what made it so touching. Like when we stood up there and we looked out on the crowd and we saw that many people. For Cam Glass and Rohan Dixit, I'm Alana Elster, Spartan News Now. Let's join together in a moment of silence to remember their lives.